Policing. Yeah. Increase police numbers to 300 per 100. This policing yeah. is your favorite subject. Yeah. Zero tolerance policing. Yeah. Uh, zero tolerance is what you call, have you heard of broken windows yeah. policing? Broken window effect, yeah. Uh, preference for ex-military personnel to head up the forces. Not sure about that one. Police have five high standards of fitness and yeah. more bobbies on the beat. Yeah. Um, I'm just more, going to get my phone while you're doing this. Right. Carry, carry on talking. <laughs> I'll just, carry on talking. M- so more on bobbies on the beat is great, but it all depends what those bobbies are. You know, if they're four foot women or obese men, then there's no point having them. So I wouldn't concentrate on the amount of police officers you have. I would concentrate on the quality of the police officers. So I would probably pay them more, use some of that money, not to recruit as many as that, but I'd give them all a decent pay rise because that will keep retention. Um, we need to make the police a professional service that people take pride in working for. You've seen the arrests now we see on TikTok and Twitter where we've got, you know, two women and two fat men trying to arrest <laughs> a 17-year-old <laughs> lad. And it's like, you can't even arrest a kid. And when he runs away, none of you can chase him. And it's like, this is pathetic. That's, that's how we address policing to begin with. But I'd give him a pay rise because it would help with the retention. And at the moment now in society, you tell people you're a police officer, there's, there's no respect there anymore now. It used to be 30, 40 years ago. You're a police officer. Well done you. You know, you're keeping us safe. Does, that doesn't exist anymore now. So why would you, as a police officer, take the crap and the violence when the people you're protecting don't even care about you anyway anymore? So that is one of the main issues within the police. Um, fitness, absolutely. Absolutely. The British Transport Police have now just removed their fitness test. So there's no fitness test now. You just have to run a bleep, a bleep test of a call. They've just cancelled that because women find it hard. Really? Yeah. So now we'll have fat, unfit men as well joining, which we have already got, but at least they could run when they did the test. They can't even run now. So we keep reducing the standards in all our public services all the time. Yeah. And we keep getting poorer and poorer recruits coming through. Mm. Um, so fitness is absolutely, and the military part of it, at the moment there's a big drive to get more and more university educated people straight out of university into the police. They've got no life experience, and life experience. they're more likely to be woke and left wing, and that's killing the police. Mm. I would be recruiting more ex-services. You've got someone who does 10 years in the army, comes out in you know, the late 30s, He's got 30 years career ahead of him now. Get him in the police. Mm. Um, so I would be looking at that more as well. He said that to head up forces, not necessarily to be in the forces. Head up forces, again, that needs to be down to merit. Yes. So I don't want to be picking someone to run a force because you yeah, happen to be a captain. Because again, that could be positive discrimination, couldn't it? Which well, is even or, if it, or, yeah, it, so, yeah. It, it, so I don't want to recruit people. Yeah. That's not it should on be merit. Based, yeah, it should be based on merit. Yeah. I agree. More bobbies on the beat. Again, it's, it's, who are those bobbies? If it's the woke idiots we've got now, then it makes no difference. I'd rather have the amount of officers we've got now but train them better and pay them more yeah. than have crap officers on the streets. I told you what a couple of officers said to me from Greater Manchester Police when I was running for mayor. They spoke to me and said, Nick, if we sat 15 to 20% of the police officers in Greater Manchester Police, the ones who were crap, and didn't replace them, Greater Manchester Police would do better overnight. Mm. And I said, I'm not replacing them. They went, no. Replace me if you want, fantastic, but let's get rid of the crap because we're constantly having to send good officers behind poor officers to clear up their messes. Really? So yeah. We, they're actually, they're actually <coughs> detracting from the overall performance exactly. because of the negative things. They exactly. Can, which is the same in business, isn't it? If you get one or two poor people in the wrong places, it creates havoc for the rest of the business and, and is inefficient, creates inefficiency. Yeah. Did you like that video? I think you did. Hit the bell, give it a big thumbs up, comment, and don't forget, I'm standing for election in Alderman Meese and Saddleworth. So please share this video, speak to your family and friends if you live in Greater Manchester, and if you live in Alderman Meese and Saddleworth, make sure you vote for me. Catch you soon.